four words of wisdom from Wisconsin. And today's show, you may be saying, ML, where are you? Well, I'm in the commode. The downstairs powder room of my house that was built in 1876. Like little house on the prairie. And so a lot of the plumbing and the fixtures are rather ancient in my house. And so I just thought to myself, I need to do some improvements. And so I thought I'm going to do a DIY project and I'm going to take you along with me and we'll do it together. Okay, here's the situation. Here's the sink. And then you just look underneath the sink a little bit and you can see all of the stuff exposed underneath. It's like... This is opening the kimono when the kimono isn't even closed. So I just got the idea, light bulbs coming out of my head. I'm just going to cover that with wallpaper. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I studied the, the basin of the sink underneath, and it's kind of got a lot of grooves and, and molding to it. And so I was lying awake at night at 3 a.m. during the witching hour, trying to figure out how I'm going to make this work. I can't just cut one big sheet of the wallpaper and kind of like glue it on. That's not going to work. So I thought that I would cut the wallpaper into strips and then just put one strip, two strip, and, and make sure I got them in order of the design and, and use some wallpaper paste and put that on the bowl. Okay. Now I'm using this little measuring tape to measure one and a quarter inches all the way down. So when I cut this, the lines will be straight. <laughs> when I was a youngster, like three or four years old, I went to a preschool called Pritzy Prep. And Mrs. Langren was my teacher. And she told my mom that I needed practice with scissor cutting skills. So my mom had me cut up a bunch of stuff, and then I went around the house and practiced. I cut the bottom of the draperies behind the sofa. I cut the sheet that was dangling below, not being tucked in the mattress in the bed. Okay, now I've cut up all these strips, and now all I have to do is make the paste and then put them on the bowl according to the pattern. Okay, now we're going to make the homemade wallpaper paste. Now, I went on the Google and I found a lot of similar recipes, but here's the main gist. Here's one, and I guess this is for making enough wallpaper to do your entire house. It's nine cups water, it's a lot, one and a half cups sugar, four and a half cups flour, and three tablespoons alum, 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 whatever that is. It's supposed to be like a preservative, but I don't have it. So anyway, I'm... I'm I didn't read ahead on the instructions. You're supposed to mix the flour and the sugar together in a pot on the stove and slowly add the cold water and then whisk it until it boils. I just added everything together in a bowl and I'm stirring it. Oh, oh. This is more like cement now. Let's just do a little taste test. Okay, I figured out the order of everything. Now I'm just going to paint the back of the strips with this paste and stick it onto the basin in the powder room. I'm going to stick it just like this on my bowl. My little friend Ivan in kindergarten, he ate paste. Now I know why. It's, it's pretty good. It's good stuff. Not that bad. Okay, well look, look, it's not half bad, not half bad. Okay, well I hope that this has given you some tips and ideas on how you too can spruce up ancient plumbing with a little homemade wallpaper paste and some wallpaper. Okay.